Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna make a quick video on how to adjust your controller dead zone in any PC game, even if that game doesn't actually have an option to change the dead zone settings in game. Some games will have a hard coded minimum dead zone, which means even if your controller settings in Steam or your controller software are set to zero, the game doesn't care. It will still impose a minimum dead zone no matter what, so that if people are using, you know, older joysticks, they won't have stick drift. It's kind of like a built-in safety net. It's kind of dumb, but I'm going to show you how you can adjust it, even if that is the case. This is more for like older games and like I said, games that don't have that setting. Of course, this is going to be most useful in games where you need to aim with your controller. The game that made me do the video specifically is Terminator Resistance from 2019. It's a, it's an older game and you likely will see this on a lot of older games. It doesn't have very many controller settings at all whatsoever. And the dead zone was absolutely horrible. I could not even aim and I had to do something about it. So I figured out a way you can kind of bypass it or fake it. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, you will need some kind of software in order to do this. Uh, there are a few options. Firstly, if you're using a pro style controller, like anything that allows you to adjust the dead zone and curves in its software, you should be able to do this with. I can show you a couple of different examples of these. If you are not using a custom controller or a pro style controller that has its own software, you can still do this with a Xbox or PS5 controller. You just need to use a different software, which I'll show later. All right, so we are in the Fly Digi, Fly Digi Space Station, it's called, and I have an Apex 4 controller, and I'm just gonna show you right away how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna use a different profile. I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna rename this profile to Anti-Dead Zone. Boom, that's what we're gonna call it. So I'm gonna click on this. All right, we're going to go to Joysticks. Now, most software is probably gonna have something like this. It is just a sensitivity curve, and dead zone. See my dead zone is set to zero. If I raise it, you can see that along the X axis here, it's going to start increasing where it starts at 10%. That means you're adding a dead zone. That means you need to move the joystick 10% for it to start sending a signal to the game. Okay. In these games that I'm talking about, there is an in game setting that's automatically doing that. It is automatically setting your, your joystick to a 20% minimum dead zone in some games. So what we're going to do, this is the easiest way you can do it is you want to use the Y axis to set it. Let me use this little guy to 20% there on the zero point of the X axis. The controller will automatically be putting in a 20% signal to the game. That means that when the game gets any signal at all, it's gonna be more than 20% on the controller, if that makes sense. So think of it this way. If your controller is not moving at all and you're not touching your joystick, the game is gonna be receiving 20%. So as soon as you touch it even a little, it's gonna go over 20% and it's gonna to start to move in game. Whereas if you didn't have this, and if you had it set to zero, you would need to move it to 20 and more with your thumb before it registered in game. So what we're doing is we're removing that extra 20% that you have to move before the game recognizes it. Now this, I tried it, I tested it in Terminator. It works perfectly. It works exactly how I thought it would work. If you want no dead zone, you have to find that spot where the controller will send input to the game to start your stick drift or start to just start moving it. You can test it to put it up to you know, 15, I would say probably games, maybe 15 or 10% try starting there. But like I said, Terminator Resistance had a 20% dead zone. I had to put this bad boy at 20% before it felt instant. It felt like a, a zero dead zone. So that's on the left joystick. You go over to the right joystick, you do the same thing, 20%, boom. And that's literally all you have to do. It's effectively moving your dead zone floor up to 20%. So the game thinks that you're actually inputting more than you are. All right, so let's check it out in a different software. This is 8-Bit Do's Ultimate Software. We're gonna check out our mappings here. We're gonna go to the sticks. We're going to check the dead zones. Disable dead zone is on. However, here, we're not seeing a graph like we were in the other one. So what do you do? In this type of software, if you don't have a graph and you do have a, a max dead zone and a min dead zone, what you have to do is actually just lower the max dead zone. So if you lower that by about 20%, that's gonna raise the zero by 20%. It's making the effective range smaller, which is exactly what we did on the curve by setting that zero to 20%. This is gonna do the exact same thing. And it's going to send 
a higher signal at those lower points than it actually would be normally. See, I like to do this actually on my left stick because for movement, I want to move instantly. Like if it's in a shooter or if it's something that requires me to move instantly, I do not want the game to wait for dead zone. So I lower the max dead zone or the dead zone ceiling on that stick by about 20% or so. That way it moves instantly as soon as I touch it. Now this can cause stick drift uh, depending on the game or depending on the actual dead zone of the controller. These Hall Effect joysticks, some of them claim to have no dead zone, but they do have an actual built-in dead zone. So this is also something you can play with and find out what feels right for you. So yeah, so what happens if you don't have one of these controllers that has its own software where you can adjust the dead zone via a curve or that slider that I showed you? Well, if you're using a PS4 controller or a PS5 controller, you can use uh, DS4, the controller emulation software. There is a setting in DS4 which is actually called anti-dead zone. So I looked up the anti-dead zone settings and basically what you do is you're gonna use a percent. It'll be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, etc. Like 0.4 would be crazy, but in my case for Terminator Resistance, I would have to put a 0 0.20 anti-dead zone, which means nothing inside that registers. It starts outside that, like as far as the game is concerned the signal is at minimum 20%. So that way it will start moving instantly. So if that makes sense, see here the anti-dead zone setting right there. You set that to 0.2. It means it's going to send 20% automatically to the game. Another software you can use is a Rewaz D, which uh, I have used before for button remapping in game. If you don't like the built-in controller mappings, Rewaz D allows you to create curves you can create a custom curve and if you put that first dot at the very left at about 20 percent up you're going to get exactly what we did in the software that i showed you before with the curve so that's that's basically all you have to do it will increase the minimum signal sent to the controller that's it guys this is this is something that has actually plagued me for a while and it's a, such a simple thing i never even really thought of it but again if you do have like a normal standard ps5 or like an xbox controller you would have to use something like rewasd to do this you could do this with the xbox elite it has its own software you shouldn't have a problem there but again this is just a simple quick video about how to get this working in any pc game it doesn't matter what game it is if it doesn't have a dead zone setting you can do this and create your own dead zone setting so yeah that's it if this video helped you out great let me know in the comments give me a like let me know what game that you're playing that doesn't have dead zone settings like me it was terminator resistance as i said but let me know in the comments check you later